Hi Aries, welcome into your video. We're going to be doing the final weeks of October. So Universe Angel Spirit Guides, what's going on here for my Aries? What's the situation final week of October, please? All right, so it looks like somebody is trying to be generous here with their feelings and their thoughts. How nice of them. I have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius incoming energy. So some of you, this is your crossing energy. Um, but it feels like here you are begging for attention and you're getting just breadcrumbs. But the communication seems to going back and forth. So I'm questioning myself and this reading here with you guys, what are you waiting for? Because I have the waiting card at the bottom of the deck. Maybe it was something that you thought was flaky or you thought it was just a fling or an affair hoping that it would turn into something more. Let's see, because that's what the situation looks like right now. Um, What's coming into my Aries, please? What's coming in? The Queen of Pentacles, which tells me very much so that you are in this place of nurturing, caring, taking care of everybody, basically. You're taking some kind of leap of faith and a risk onto yourself. And you're starting to heal within yourself. And you're going for something that you feel will bring you a happier environment with a person, in a relationship, or even at work. Um... I think you're trying to get rid of something that's toxic. I also feel like Aries, you're, I don't know. I feel like the pressure cooker is on for you um, because it just feels now that we've had the eclipse for you, Aries, you're going through something um, much different. You're going through that metamorphosis, that change. So you learn those life lessons. You learn to be patient. You learn to take shock. And, you know, stick through it. You've learned to deal with other people on a political spectrum at work or even within your relationships. Here's the new challenge. It's coming in. It's coming in now towards the end of the year. It's about your relationships. It's about understanding what's real love, what's everlasting love. Um, and I feel like this is prompting a speech for me because I'm looking at, you know, the all time nurturing card, which is you. Can I have one more for what's coming towards Aries, please? Yeah, the pressure's on, but if anybody can handle it, it's you, Aries. Come on, you know that. That's why your birthstone's a fucking diamond. What are diamonds made from? Severe pressure. There you is. You're still standing. All right, so the Page of Cups. Some of you could be talking to somebody that's a lot younger than you in age. Uh, others of you, this could be a... Um, just like this text message and it's like, you're, you're sorry, but you're not sorry. <laughs> you're trying to be nice and apologetic towards a situation, but I think you're trying to stand up for your worth and your value. So you're sending out this nice text message. You don't want to steamroll over anybody or bulldozer of anybody. You don't want to reject anybody either. If you're feeling any kind of unrequited love for someone, um, because you have your eyes set on a bigger prize and that's where you're going and that's what it's feeling like um what does an eerie see coming trust me this sounds very generic in general but when we start clarifying we'll get into the nitty-gritty and we'll really see what this is talking about so something's wrong with my camera so i'm really looking at a blank screen which is weird for me so it's like i'm talking to nothing but a black screen so I'll do the playback later and see what this looks like. Four of Swords and the Higher Font. The Higher Font talks about you doing something on a traditional level. Um, it talks about you doing taking the orthodox steps to reach a goal. Like you go to college to get a degree. Um, you date somebody to get married. Um, you fill out paperwork to create some sort of company business or membership program. It's like one of those things. Uh, but moreover, it's talking about a commitment and a marriage. Can I have one more so I can have an understanding what this is for Aries, please? Yeah, 
Yeah, you're you're about to commit to something uh, heavily. And I don't think you see this coming. So it's forcing you to think about the time and energy you have invested in something. You got to think, Aries, if a job no longer fits you or a relationship no longer fits you, don't think about all the time and energy you spent there. You did it to level up, but now you're here ready for the next level. If you tried something and it didn't work out, don't think about the time and the money or the energy on the person that you spent. It's time to keep going. So it looks like you're thinking about doing some kind of commitment uh, with something or someone, but you're th you're also reflecting on the time and energy you put into it. Uh, and you're resisting yourself from doing something. It's like you're almost holding yourself back in a way. I wonder what the hell that is. What's the advice here? Some of you are struggling to walk away from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If it's not a fire sign person, it is somebody very charismatic, very attractive, and, you know, kind of has their hooks a little bit into you because there's a lot of passion there with this individual. Um, but you're challenged to walk away from this individual. There's something toxic here. It's either fear-based or... You're sitting here telling yourself it's you're not good enough, you're not wanted... It can be vice versa. It can be somebody that you're dealing with that's very narcissistic, but. It looks like you, you might be challenged to walk away and you might have to. We'll see when we clarify. Uh, let's see what the outcome is. Page of Swords, 10 of, um. Wow. Holy mother. Ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and the page of swords. Some of you are actually looking for another job or jobs just because, just because. <laughs> because either you want more money or because you don't feel secure in your current job. Um, you're looking at your financial independence. Uh, so you're looking. Um, and I don't blame you, but I think things are safe, to be honest with you. I think you're okay. I think you're okay with where you are, but maybe somebody had recently pissed you off or upset you or said something to you that made you feel uneasy. That's kind of like also why I was talking about the pressure before. And this can also reflect in a relationship with somebody that you have a commitment with. Maybe you're looking outside of your commitment. Maybe you're looking outside of your marriage to be single. Um, it can be flipped, but... That's what I'm seeing here. Because I'm seeing some sort of uh, backstab and betrayal by another person. And I think what happens is when this happens to you, you're going to have a fresh new start in passion uh, in regards to meeting somebody new or a passionate new project at work that's very creative and it's very hopeful. You're going to have some guilt and regret over some of the things that you recently said and done, but don't fucking worry about it, okay? Because this eclipse that just recently happened, it happened for a reason. You might lose a relationship, but you're going to get a new one right away. You might lose a job right now, but you're going to get another uh, one right away. It's like you lose one stream of something, but you gain another. And I think this is happening to you because of the eclipse season that recently happened to you. Because some of you might not be pushing yourselves uh, away from something that you either A, graduated in, like learning at work and it was just beneath you. Or B, in a relationship with somebody that, again, beneath you or not your level and you are just settling. Um, so this person that might be coming to betray you, they, they actually are doing you a favor. They are. Oh my God. Stuff's coming in, Aries. Get ready. This is your new transition, but you can handle it. I'm telling you, you, you can handle it. It's so funny. I was just like, sometimes I post these things on my Instagram and the other day I, I, I posted something like, you know, there's signs all, all around us. Like if we need answers to something and we're struggling and we don't know what the answer, the solution is, trust me, ask the universe. Like sometimes just walk down a street and say, universe, what, what should I do about this situation? Listen to the people that are walking past you and what they're saying to you. 
there are signs. The other day I'm sitting here scrolling through my cell phone and I'm looking at horoscope signs and I'm like, oh, this celebrity's a Taurus. Oh, this celebrity's a that. I'm like, oh, Elton John's an Aries. Who knew? Oh, weird. You know, and then like the whole day goes by and then like I hear somebody criticize me and it's so fucking weird. I turn on like my Spotify. The first song that comes on is from Elton John. I'm still standing. That song. Yeah, I'm still standing after I just got criticized. That means I can dust myself off and get myself up. And I'm like sitting here thinking, I'm like, yeah, I got to remember I to, to see all the signs around me and hear all the signs around me. And I feel like Aries for you, this is also the case because I don't want you at this point in time to fold. It's not the time to fold. I know some people are taking swipes at you right now and your patience is being tried. God knows I know this. And even by the person that like you're dealing with love wise, because what in the fuck is this? Six of Pentacles? No. Clarify this, please. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, in my culture, they say when we sneeze, it, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> All right, Queen of Wands is in the cross position, which is you. So you're crossing this King of Swords. That's the incoming energy. This King of Swords does not have to be an air sign, but there's somebody who doesn't really explain their feelings. Not very well, but they're fair. They're balanced. They're honest. Very smart individuals. Um, it's crossing you because it's not coming in the way you like, Aries. But this person is trying to communicate with you. Now, you're sitting here thinking about cutting your losses, five of swords, or sacrificing something, but you're sitting there low-key keeping this shit to yourself, trying to make a wise choice. Let's see. Let's continue. What is this queen of pentacles and the page of cups? Six of wands. Yeah, someone's acknowledging you, your worth, your value at work. If you've got like tossed to the side or somebody was trying to minimize you or minimize your work, your, your worth and your value and tell you what to do, trust me, other people are seeing. They're like, uh oh, you want to get rid of Aries? Because I'll take Aries. I want Aries. Oh, you don't want to date Aries? I want to date Aries. Like salivating so they can grab you. And that's what this is, success. You're not going to hear it like in a hardcore kind of way, but you're going to notice it when somebody reaches out personally, like through a small message, like a text message or something like that. Let, let me have one more in regards to this. And this also, for some of you, if you reach out to somebody, you text somebody and you apologize to somebody, if this is you, you're, you'll be successful in, in doing so. But this is an ego boost. So something tells me this is more towards you as in you getting the acknowledgement you deserve. The magician, yep, the magician and the four of swords, whatever you're dealing with or doing, you're healing and you're manifesting this healing right now. You really, really are. And that's what's bringing in the success for you. Guys, right around the corner, within the next few weeks, I swear to you, something new is coming in. Something very passionate. For some of you, it's work and it's a passion project. For others of you, it's a hot new romance with somebody. What is this? Um, the higher font and the seven of pentacles. Let me tell you something. When the universe sees you healing from any kind of situation... They know that you're ready for the next level, the next step, the next new thing they want to give to you. They're not going to give it to you when you're like in raw pain or, you know, you're starving for something that you're not ready for. So when I see the healing card, I know soon thereafter something nice is coming your way. Something new, something different. Four of Cups and the Page of Cups. Here's my Page of Cups again. Yeah, I feel like you're texting here with somebody. For some of you, it's like unrequited love. And some of you are still, you know, thinking about the time and energy you put into someone or something else. So anybody new that's coming your way right now, it's like a little bit unrequited. You're like, yeah, my mind's not there. For others of you, you're like, 
Unless you're going to knock my socks off, I'm not really going to look at you. I'm just going to concentrate on work and make money. Um, but I see you. I see you up for some of you. This is work related. You're not really thrilled in something that you've put a lot of energy in and you're just like, let me throw my resume out there. Others of you, this is just you not being excited about new potential people coming in your way as far as relationships are concerned. Because you're still thinking about someone from your past or something else that you invested in. Whoever you're dealing with, if you have a commitment or marriage and you're having issues, you're not in talk, you're not talking right now. You're in no talky mode. I'm telling you, look what comes right after the new chapter and the solid new thing. Brand new job or brand new relationship. Something you're gonna love. Queen of Cups. And you're going to resist yourself from arguing and fighting here with somebody. All right. I'm going to keep going. Let's see what the advice is talking about with this King of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Oh. Don't want to mix. Aries, please. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I love when your readings get juicy. King of Swords came out again over the King of Wands. Some of you are dealing with two people and you don't know. Seven of Wands. Wow. And the Chariot. Some of you guys, it's saying that you need to defend yourself. Uh, that, that's it. Plain and simple. Some of you need to resist another person. So it's like maybe you need to not walk away from one while walking away from another. Uh, you'll know who that is for you. Um, but look at you. It's talking about defending yourself, some of you, with this king of swords. Now look, it could be vice versa. What if you, you need to walk away from one individual and fight with the other and, I mean, for yourself and that. Or... You need to resist a particular person and stick with the other. You, you, you're you right now, I feel as if Aries, because you, you feel this pressure of change that's happening to you in your life right now. I know you could feel it. Most of the issues that are happening to you this week, it's really about your emotional state of affairs within yourself. Um, whatever else is going on in your external environment, it's, it really is not affecting you the way you think it is. This is more about you and rationalizing shit and honing down and focusing because you have the chariot back here, focusing on what, it, what your main goal is, what you want, who you want to be with, what you want to do as far as your career and your life. Um, it really has nothing to do with anybody else. It has everything to do with you. Uh, and that's what it's kind of showing. And you are in this transition period right now of that energy. So it is kind of weird. So I'm telling you that big eclipse on the 14th was a big ass doozy. It's going to start shifting into your sphere of relationships and how you perceive relationships, whether it's friendships, coworkers, or your love life. But this is very interesting. Can I have one more for advice? Yeah, right now you're mentally stuck not knowing what to do with two particular individuals. And in this case, for some of you, you're struggling to leave a situation behind. That's not probably good for you. And the other one is to defend yourself or to resist a certain toxic situation. So you could be seeing another Aries. Um, and yeah, but this is you trying to get unstuck, I feel. The say so wants keeps wanting to come into my face. I'm telling you, in a few weeks, you, I know you don't believe me, but it's coming. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Two of Wands, you're going to be at a crossroads. Some of you, it's, oh, wherever you're going though, Aries, because you're not going to stay where you're staying. <laughs> Two of Wands for me always talks about the future. It always talks about you're at the crossroads and someone just needs to give you a little shove, a little push, you know, over the edge. And this is in regards to a commitment with somebody or a your career. 
actually it's about moving on with your life and finding the right relationship and your career. It's really about you. It's about you moving on, upgrading your life and leaving something behind from the past. But where you're going is the sun, happiness, ace of swords, something brand new. That's going to bring a lot of hope to you and a lot of wish fulfillment. Oh, this is nice. It's a bit scary, but it's it's really really good Aries it's really really good and I feel as if all the lessons that you've learned in the past few years I think that you've learned how to transition without causing any harm or damage to yourself this is why you have this healing card because you're the one manifesting all this amazingness for yourself I feel like this reading was extremely general and I feel really weird because I'm looking at a black screen. Can't even see myself. So my eyes feel like they're wandering everywhere. So forgive me for that. Pay attention to the red flags in a heart to heart conversation. Interesting. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to shuffle again and see if they come out and ask my little questions. See, I find it very interesting here in your reading that there's a lot of swords and a lot of cups. This is mental and emotional. And all the wands happen to be in the advice, the actions you need to take. And then the clarifier of the two of wands, more actions you need to take in regards to your financial independence and or for you to be single or stay in a relationship. You're stalking something out. You're getting more information. You're doing a lookout. You're thinking about moving on from where you are. That's who really this reading is for. I have to be honest with you. You're definitely dealing with two people and you're definitely in a situation where you're thinking about moving on past it and you're questioning it. Is there something here I'm not seeing or is there something you'd like to say, Romance Angels? I personally would like one more. Anything else they should know? Spirit for Aries. All right. So two of the cards that are pretty much the same. Um, love yourself first, which is talking about your worth and your value. And you deserve love. When I see this card, it's somebody who doesn't deserve you. If you're getting you deserve love, you're with somebody who doesn't deserve you. And when I'm seeing this, this look at, look at this card clearly, guys. It's a beggar's card. These people are begging for money in this card. This is also for emotion. You deserve love. This is not enough for you. And you love yourself first. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's go and do a... You know what? I want to do one of these cards the hell um the abundance uh cards angel of abundance any advice you would like to give aries for um what they're dealing with whether this is work love or your health it's mostly i feel like it's work related but let's see aries please Positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and your energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. I'm still standing. I'm telling you, Aries, you're still standing. Don't let one little setback bring you down. That was the whole reason of that whole speech before moonlighting. Oh my God, I love this. All right, you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon, your dream career will take flight and fully support you. So those of you have that passion project that I keep telling you I keep seeing, there it is. You can moonlight and do this like side hustle and it'll pan out. It's going to work out. <clears throat> Because I, uh, I see money. I see secure money in your future. I see you also, some of you, you know, debating whether to be single or stay here with somebody. But I, I think you're going to see in the end that it's not worth it for you to 
beg someone to be with you because you have your shit together. It's not like you're a nobody. So stop accepting things that are beneath you, Aries, or settling. Love yourself first. You think someone is lying? They are. Holy shit. Your intuition is not bad. I'm telling you, Aries, it's not bad. All right, I'm going to take these and clarify these um, and see what we, we're going to say in the extended. Might pull one more card and see what goes on. And let's see what's in the head of your person, what they're thinking and feeling, their intentions for you and all of that jazz. Um, the link is down below in the description box. Everybody else, I will see you next week.